So you mentioned how we can save energy by saving a little bit of culture and how the culture has changed over the years and how much money we spend on air conditioning and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I really think... if you, it, It's it, a crazy idea, so I just want to record it. Clothing, tre like fashion trends and, and what is socially acceptable, what is socially required of, of, uh, of us. It, and it's both culturally and gender specific. In other words, men in Arabia wear a certain style of dress and men in the West wear a certain style of dress. Uh, and so do women, right? But there's a, um, especially as the climate's warming, we spend a huge amount of energy, which is not good for the environment, conditioning in order to get the buildings, the interior, the air temperature in buildings to a certain temperature so that it's comfortable for the people who are in there. But even when it's hot out, no matter what, men particularly need to wear these full like coverage uh, suits that are often made of wool, uh, wearing leather shoes and wool socks and like an undershirt, a shirt and, and a jacket on top of it, even when it's, you know, 32 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees out. And I think we could save a lot of energy by allowing, uh, by, by creating a socially acceptable style of dress for men and women, regardless of the culture. Uh, that would allow us to spend less energy uh, controlling the temperature of the buildings. Cool. Thank you. <laughs>